Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel if you're new around here. My name is of course Amar and I'm an electric skateboarder and content creator based right here in the UK. My goal for this channel is to be a resource for you e-skaters through reviews, tutorials and ride videos. So if any of that is of interest to you, be sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. You really don't want to miss out. Now today's video is going to be a very quick impromptu review of these hillbilly full finger wrist guarded gloves. Now I've actually been looking for a pair of gloves like these for a long, long, long time. The bane of my existence when I'm riding is having to wear protective gloves that don't have wrist guards and on top of that wear wrist guards. So basically double stack and it does become quite uncomfortable. It becomes really stuffy and more importantly, it really gives you a very bad feel of the remote which can really lead to some dangerous situations. For instance, now it's actually a green for me, but there was a pedestrian there crossing there. If I didn't have good control of my remote, I wouldn't have been able to brake in time. We may well have collided. And also if I lose control of my board going downhill, for instance, that's gonna be a big issue if I can't brake. So what's put me off going for gloves like these for a while is I've always been cautious that this wrist guard and this wrist, wrist protective piece just at the center here would make it really awkward to hold the remote and also it would make it awkward if I move this down I'm not sure if you can see this but it would make it awkward to hold my little selfie stick here because obviously I'm always holding either a camera rig or a selfie stick to record these videos but I thought I would give it a shot I'm all up for an all-in-one solution I'm always down to experiment and try new things so I got these hillbilly four finger wrist guard gloves from PET actually they shipped it to me really quickly which was fantastic got it in literally I think one business day and yeah so far so good to be honest they're holding up really well good how are you yeah good man I like your bike thanks I like that is that quick for the race no thanks <laughs> I have to say one thing I really like about these gloves is that they're really open when you put them on so you can very easily wear these on top of a thick jacket for instance I'm wearing this ultra protective jacket at the moment you don't have to sort of wear it and then pull the jacket's end or jacket sleeve on top of the glove which I imagine would be quite inconvenient of all of the e-skate injuries which I'm petrified of wrist injuries are up there with the worst for me because if I'm damaging my wrist and if I really damage my hands quite badly, it's going to put me out of action uh, in my day-to-day -day work. It's going to put me out of action just living my life. Although I guess the same could be said if you break your leg or your arm, but they're not that common, I guess. It's much more easy to damage your wrist when you fall off an e-skateboard like this because naturally your instinct will be, once you crash, to put your, both your hands down and slide. With these you can slide and these gloves will absorb the impact very very nicely and then allow you to slide and take out the oomph from the fall. Another thing I forgot to mention is that the lanyard for this remote at least just about fits around. It's a very tight fit but it fits so I can technically do this so it's pretty cool. It's not obviously going to be ideal to hold a remote with this big plastic piece sticking out here but honestly I feel like I can get used to this if you just take a look at how I've got this held here I've I've got three fingers just underneath here obviously this will depend remote to remote I'm not sure how this is going to work with Evolve R2 and Evolve Phase remotes or Tramper remotes the Wand remotes or other remotes you know the circular ones I forget their name for this remote at least which is for the most part the most common type of electric skateboard remote I think I could really get used to this. I've got my thumb to control the accelerator and scroll wheel. I'm gripping the remote quite nicely with my fingers here and the bottom of the remote rests nicely here. So I can get used to this and really for the peace of mind that if I do take a crash I'm probably not going to injure my wrist very badly. Obviously there's no guarantees with anything but yeah I think for the price as well i think i paid give or take about 40 pounds for this really enjoying these gloves and i'll let you guys know how they hold up over time the other thing i really like about these gloves is the materials that are being used here we've got real leather and in general it's a very rugged glove and i have no doubt that taking a high speed crash 
with this glove is going to bear me in good stead. I have a lot of confidence actually in this glove. I've seen reviews where people have had very, very gnarly crashes and these gloves have saved their hands. So for the moment, very, very impressed with these gloves. Obviously, you'll see me wearing these in my future videos and I will pass comments here and there depending on how it goes with them. I might even make a long-term review. But for now, I just wanted to share this with you guys because this has been a struggle for me to find good e-skate gloves for a long, long time. It's not actually impossible to find e-skate specific gloves. I know Flatland 3D do make e-skate gloves with inbuilt. I don't think they're full on wrist guards, but they have some wrist protection, but they actually stopped selling the full finger versions of those Flatland 3D gloves. And now they're only selling the half finger versions. I really want the full finger not least because the weather here in the UK is more often than not not very good also if I do take a crash I want to make sure that my fingers and my nails are all fine and safe so really confident with these gloves so far I'll let you guys know how I get on for the moment I'm going to get back to enjoying this Meepo Envy before it goes to a friend take care and peace